Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few probability problems based on selection and rejection, problems on probability with replacement, and problems on probability without replacement. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Questions are dealt with in this video along with clear explanations to make you understand the concept clearly. In this video, we'll first learn the concept and methods for solving the problems. Then we'll look at a few solved problems. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. In this video, we'll learn how to solve problems based on selection and rejection, probability with replacement, probability without replacement. In our previous videos, we had learned how to solve probability problems where items were drawn together simultaneously. There, the concept of combinations was used to find the probability. Whereas in probability problems based on with replacement or without replacement, items are drawn one after another. Here, the formula to find the probability is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items. This is the formula that you have to Remember to solve problems based on um, with replacement or without replacement. Let us now understand how to solve probability problems based on selection and rejection. First, based on the selection probability or rejection probability given in the problem, find the corresponding rejection probability or selection probability. That is, if in the problem selection probability is given, then find the corresponding rejection probability. Or if in the problem rejection probability is given, find the corresponding selection probability. That is the first thing that has to be done. Next, based on the given problem, write all the possible prob uh, probabilities that can happen. The sum of all these possible probabilities is equal to 1. Now, using this equation, now use this equation to find the required probability that is asked in the problem. You will understand this uh, method when you solve the problems later on. Probability with replacement and probability without replacement. Let us now understand the difference between probability with replacement and probability without replacement. Probability with replacement means that each time we draw an item, we replace it back to the sample space before drawing the next item. So that item that has been replaced has the possibility of being chosen more than once. Since the item is being replaced every time, in this type, the number of items in the sample space remains unchanged. Probability without replacement means once we draw an item, we do not replace it back to the sample space before drawing the next item. So, an item cannot be drawn more than once. In this type, uh, the number of items of the sample space gets less as each item is removed because the removed item is never replaced. Let us now understand the difference between the probability with replacement and probability without replacement with the help of an example. Look at this example. You have a fair well shuffled deck of 52 cards. It consists of four suits. The suits are clubs, diamonds, hearts and spades. 
there are 13 cards in each suit that is yes 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 jack queen and king of that suit now let's look at probability with replacement suppose you pick three cards with replacement let the first card you pick out of the 50, 52 cards be the queen of spades you put this card back reshuffle the cards and pick a second card from the 52 card deck let it be the 10 of clubs you put this card back reshuffle the cards and pick a third card from the 52 card deck this time let the card be the queen of spades again so your picks are queen of spades 10 of clubs and q of spades now you have picked the queen of spades twice here because the, uh, because here after picking a card you replace it to the uh, deck so there's always a chance of the same card being picked more than once and also since uh, the card is replaced after uh, every uh, draw you uh, the number of cards in the deck remains the same so you pick each card from the 52 card deck because the card is replaced after every uh, picking there is a possibility of the same card being picked more than once and also the number of cards in the deck remain the same in probability with replacement hope you have understood this now let's look at the problem look at probability without replacement suppose you pick three cards without replacement let the first card you pick out of the 52 cards be the king of hearts now you put this card aside and pick the second card from the 51 cards remaining in the deck now since here the card is not getting replaced you can see that the total number of cards in the deck has reduced by one so from 52 cards now you have only 51 cards also you have set aside the king of hearts so this king of hearts cannot be uh, picked again so when you pick the second card from the 51 cards remaining in the deck let it be the three of diamonds you put this card aside and pick the third card from the remaining 50 cards in the deck here also you can see that since the second card also is not replaced the total number of cards in the pack has reduced to 50 cards now let's pick the third card from the remaining 50 cards in the deck let the third card be the jack of spades so now your picks are king of hearts three of diamonds and jack of spades because you have picked the cards without replacement you cannot pick the same card twice also since there has been no replacement the number of cards in the deck gets reduced with each pick hope you have understood this point clearly let's now solve a few probability problems based on selection and rejection Karan and Mallika appeared for an interview for two vacancies. The probability of Karan's selection is 1 by 3 and that of Mallika's selection is 1 by 5. Find the probability that both of them will be selected. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So it's given that the probability of current selection is 1 by 3. Probability of Mallika's selection is 1 by 5. The probability that both of them will be selected is nothing but probability of current getting selected and the probability of Mallika getting uh, selected. 
Now we know that, that probability of current selection is 1 by 3 and is multiplication and probability of Malika's selection is given as 1 by 5. So now we have probability that both of them will be selected is 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 5 which is nothing but 1 by 15. So the correct answer is option B 1 by 15. A and B appeared for an interview for two posts. The probability of A's rejection is 2 by 5 and that of B's selection is 4 by 7. What is the probability that one of them is selected? Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So now it's given that the probability of A's rejection is 2 by 5. So the probability of A selection would be 1 minus 2 by 5 which is 3 by 5. It's given that probability of B's selection is 4 by 7. So probability of B's rejection would be 1 minus 4 by 7 which is 3 by 7. Now we are asked to find the probability that one of them is selected. So the probability that one of them is selected is nothing but probability of A's selection and B's rejection. You can see here that only A is selected here or probability of B's selection and A's rejection. You can see that only one B is selected here. Now substituting all these values in the formula here we get possibility that one of them is selected is 3 by 5 multiplied by 3 by 7 plus 4 by 7 multiplied by 2 by 5. On solving this, we get the required probability as 17 by 35. So the correct answer is option A, 17 by 35. Other than this method, we can solve this by an alternate method also. Let's now solve this problem by the alternate method. So here it's given that the probability of age rejection is 2 by 5, which means the probability of age selection would be 1 minus 2 by 5, which is 3 by 5. It's given that the probability of B's selection is 4 by 7. So probability of B's rejection would be 1 minus 4 by 7, which is 3 by 7. Now here we are asked to find the probability that one of them is selected. So the required probability is that one of them is selected. Now all the probabilities that can um, occur when A and B appear for an interview are probability that both are selected or is addition, probability that both are rejected or is addition, probability that A is selected or is addition probability that B is selected is equal to 1. Now here the required probability is that one of them is selected. Now this required probability includes uh, probability of A selection plus probability of B selection. So from this formula uh, you can get the probability that one of them is selected is equal to 1 minus possibility that both are selected minus possibility that both are rejected. Now probability that both are selected means probability of A selection and probability of B selection. Probability that both are rejected means probability that probability of A's rejection and probability of B's rejection. Now substituting the values in the formula we get probability that one of them is selected is equal to 1 minus 3 by 5 multiplied by 4 by 7 minus 2 by 5 multiplied by 3 by 7. On solving this we get the required probability as 17 by 35. So the correct answer is option A 17 by 35. Arun and Varun appeared for an interview for two vacancies. The probability of Arun's selection is 1 by 4 and that of Varun's rejection is 2 by 3. 
find the probability that at least one of them will be selected. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here it's given that the probability of Arun's selection is 1 by 4. So the probability of Arun's rejection would be 1 minus 1 by 4 which is 3 by 4. It's given that probability of Varun's rejection is 2 by 3. So probability of Varun's selection would be 1 minus 2 by 3 which is 1 by 3. Now here we are asked to find the probability that at least one of them will be selected. So the required probability is that at least one of them is selected. The word at least means minimum. So you have to go from minimum to maximum which means um, at least one that is uh, either Arun can be selected or Varun can be selected. That would be the minimum. To maximum would be both are selected. So uh, the probability that at least one of them is selected is equal to probability of Arun selection and Varun's rejection or probability of Varun selection and Arun's rejection or probability of selecting both. Now substituting all the given values, all these values in the formula here, we get 1 by 4 multiplied by 2 by 3 or is plus 1 by 3 multiplied by 3 by 4 or is plus 1 by 4 multiplied by 1 by 3. On solving this, we get the uh, probability that at least one of them is selected is 1 by 2. So the correct answer is option D 1 by 2. Now we can also solve this problem by an alternate method. Let's now solve this problem by the alternate method. So here it's given that the probability of Arun selection is 1 by 4 which means the probability of Arun's rejection would be 1 minus 1 by 4 which is 3 by 4. It's also given that uh, the probability of Varun's rejection is 2 by 3 which means the probability of Varun's selection would be 1 minus 2 by 3 which is 1 by 3. Now we are asked to find the probability that at least one of them will be selected. So the required probability is that at least one of them is selected. Now all the probabilities that can happen when Arun and Varun appear for an interview are probability that both are rejected or or is addition, probability that only Arun is selected or or is addition, probability that only Varun is selected or or is addition, probability that both are selected is equal to 1. Now here the required probability is that at least one of them is selected. The word at least means minimum which means you have to go from minimum to maximum. Here minimum means uh, only one of them is selected either Arun or Varun and maximum is that both are selected. Now when you look at this equation you will see that the required probability would include probability that only Arun is selected plus probability that only Varun is selected plus probability that both are selected. So from this uh, formula you can get, uh, get you can get the probability that at least one of them is selected is equal to 1 minus probability that both are rejected. Probability that both are rejected means probability that Arun is rejected and probability that Varun is rejected and is multiplication. Now we know that probability of Arun's rejection is 3 by 4 and is multiplication and probability of Varun's rejection is 2 by 3. Now substituting these values in the formula we get the probability that at least one of them is selected is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 multiplied by 2 by 3 which is nothing but 1 by 2. So the correct answer is option D 1 by 2.
Three boys took part in a race with their respective probabilities to reach the finishing point being 1 by 3, 1 by 5 and 1 by 4 respectively. What is the probability that at least one of them will finish the race? Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So it is given that the probability of boy 1 reaching the finishing point is 1 by 3. So the probability of boy 1 not reaching the finishing point would be 1 minus 1 by 3 which is 2 by 3. It is given that the probability of boy 2 to reach the finishing point is 1 by 5. So the probability of boy 2 not reaching the finishing point would be 1 minus 1 by 5 which is 4 by 5. It is given that the probability of boy 3 to reach the finishing point is 1 by 4 which means the probability of boy 3 not reaching the finishing point would be 1 minus 1 by 4 which is 3 by 4. Now here we are asked to find the probability that at least one of them will finish the race. So the required probability is that at least one of them will finish the point which means at least one of them will reach the finishing point. Now all the probabilities that can occur when three boys take part in a race are probability that none reach the finishing point or is addition probability that only one reaches the finishing point or is addition probability that only two reach the finishing point or is addition probability that all of them reach the finishing point is equal to one. Now here the required probability is that at least one of them will reach the finishing point. Now the word at least means minimum which means we have to go from minimum to maximum. Now the minimum would be uh, at least one of them, uh, the minimum would be one reaches the finishing point and the maximum would be all the three would reach the finishing point. Now as you can see in this formula, the required probability that at least one of them will reach the finishing point would include probability that only one reaches the finishing point plus probability that only two reach the finishing point plus probability that all reach the finishing point. Now from this formula you can uh, get that the probability that at least one of them will finish the race is equal to 1 minus probability that none reaches the finishing point. Now the probability that none reaches the finishing point means uh, a boy 1 does not uh, reach the finishing point, boy 2 and boy 2 does not reach the finishing point and boy 3 does not reach the finishing point. Now we know the probability um, of boy 1, boy 2 and boy 3 not, finish, uh, not reaching the finishing point as 2 by 3, 4 by 5 and 3 by 4 respectively. So substituting these values in the formula here we get probability that at least one of them will finish the race is equal to 1 minus 2 by 3 multiplied by 4 by 5 multiplied by 3 by 4. On solving this, we get the required probability as 3 by 5. So the correct answer is option B, 3 by 5. Let's solve a few problems on probability with replacement. Two balls are drawn at random with replacement from a box containing 10 black and red, 8 red balls. Find the probability that both the balls are red. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here it's given that the number of red balls is 8, number of black balls is 10, so total number of balls is 18. It's given that two balls are drawn with replacement. That is, the ball is replaced after the first draw. Now here the formula that has to be used is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items. 
Now here we are asked to find the probability that both the drawn balls are red. Now probability of getting both the balls as red is nothing but probability of getting a red ball in the first draw and probability of getting a red ball in the second draw. Now we can find the probability of getting a red ball in the first draw by using this formula. Now as you can see um, the total number of red balls is 8 and total number of balls is 18. So probability of getting a red ball in the first draw is 8 by 18 and is multiplication. Again probability of getting a red ball in the second draw can be found out using this formula. But here since the um, ball is replaced after the first draw clearly the number of uh, red balls uh, would remain the same which is 8. Also the total number of balls would remain the same which is 18. So probability of getting a red ball in the second draw is also 8 by 18. So probability of getting both the balls red is equal to 8 by 18 multiplied by 8 by 18 which is nothing but 16 by 81. So the correct answer is option A 16 by 81. Two balls are drawn at random with replacement from a box containing 10 black and 8 red balls. Find the probability that the first ball is black and the second is red. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now it's given that the number of red balls is 8, number of black balls is 10. So total number of balls is 18. It's given that the two balls are drawn with replacement, which means the ball is replaced after the first draw. The formula that has to be used here is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items. Now here we are asked to find the probability that the first ball is black and second is red. So the probability of getting first ball as black and second as red is equal to probability of getting a black ball in the first draw and probability of getting a red ball in the second draw. Now probability of getting a black ball in the first draw can be found out using this formula. Now we know that the total number of black balls is 10 and total number of balls is 18. So probability of getting a black ball in the first draw is 10 by 18 and is multiplication. Probability of getting a red ball in the second draw can also be found out using this formula. Now we know that the total number of red balls is 8. Now since uh, the balls are drawn with replacement that is the ball is replaced after the first draw it means that the total number of balls remains the same which is 18. So the probability of getting a red ball in the second draw is 8 by 18. So probability of getting the first ball as black and second as red is equal to 10 by 18 multiplied by 8 by 18 which is nothing but 20 by 81. So the correct answer is option D 20 by 81. Two balls are drawn at random with replacement from a box containing 10 black and 8 red balls. Find the probability that one of them is black and the other is red. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here it's given that the number of red balls is 8, number of black balls is 10, so total number of balls is 18. It's also given that two balls are drawn with replacement. That is the ball is replaced after the first draw. Now the formula that has to be used here is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items. Now here you are asked to find the probability that one of them is black and the other is red. Now as you can see here, um, it is not specified 
if the first ball has to be black or if the first ball has to be red it is just mentioned that out of the two balls which are drawn at random with replacement one of the ball is black and one of the balls is red so probability of getting one of the balls as black and the other as red is nothing but probability of getting first ball black and second ball as red or probability of getting first ball red and second ball black now probability of getting first ball black can be calculated using the formula so we know that the number of black balls is 10 and the total number of balls is 18 so probability of getting first ball black is 10 by 18 and is multiplication now probability of getting second ball as red can also be calculated using the formula the number of red balls is given as 8 and since the ball is replaced after the first draw the total number of balls would remain the same which is 18 so the probability of getting the second ball as red is 8 by 18 or is plus probability of getting first ball red can be calculated using the formula the number of red balls is 8 the total number of balls is 18 so probability of getting first ball red is 8 by 18 and is multiplication probability of getting second ball black can be found out using the formula the number of black balls is 10 now since the ball is replaced after the first draw the total number of balls would remain the same which is 18 so the probability of getting the second ball black is 10 by 18 so probability of getting one of the balls as black and the other as red is equal to 10 by 18 multiplied by 8 by 18 plus 8 by 18 multiplied by 10 by 18 on solving this we get the required probability as 40 by 81 so the correct answer is option c 40 by 81 three balls are drawn at random with replacement from a box containing four red three green two blue and one black balls find the probability that the first ball is red and the other two are green here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so here it's given that the number of red balls is 4 number of green balls is 3 number of blue balls is 2 number of black balls is 1 so total number of balls is 10 it's also given that three balls are drawn with replacement that is the ball is replaced after each draw now the formula that has to be used here is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items now here we are asked to find the probability that the first ball is red and the other two are green so the probability that the first ball is red and the other two are green is nothing but the probability of getting the first ball red and the probability of getting the second ball green and the probability of getting the third ball green now probability of getting the first ball red can be calculated using the formula we know that the number of red balls is 4 and total number of balls is 10 so probability of getting first ball red is 4 by 10 and is multiplication the probability of getting the second ball green can be found out using the formula we know that the number of green balls is 3 now since the uh, ball is replaced after the first draw the total number of balls remains the same which is 10 so the probability of getting the second ball green is 3 by 10 and is multiplication the probability of getting the third ball green can also be found out using the formula now since the uh, green ball that was drawn in the second draw has been replaced the 
number of green balls remains the same that is 3 now since the uh, ball is replaced after each draw the total number of balls also remains the same which is 10 so the probability of getting the third ball green is 3 by 10 so the probability that the first ball is red and the other two are green is 4 by 10 multiplied by 3 by 10 multiplied by 3 by 10 on solving this we get the required probability as 9 by 250 so the correct answer is option c 9 by 250 draw two cards from a standard 52 card deck with replacement find the probability of getting at least one black card here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now we know that the total number of cards in a deck is 52 the number of black cards in the deck is 26 and number of red cards in the deck is 26 it's also given that two cards are drawn with replacement that is the card is replaced after each draw now the formula that has to be used here is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items here we are asked to find the probability of getting at least one black card now this probability can be found out using two methods let's look at the first method so we are asked to find the probability that at least one black card is drawn now the word at least means um, minimum which means we have to go from minimum to maximum now since two cards are drawn uh, it means that the minimum can be one black card and the maximum can be two black cards now the minimum of one black card can be either that the first card is black or that the second card is black so the probability that at least one black card is drawn is nothing but probability of getting the first card black and the second card as red or the probability of getting the first card red and the second card as black or getting both the cards black now the probability of getting the first card black can be found out using the formula we know that the number of black cards is 26 and the total number of cards is 52 so the probability of getting the first card black is 26 by 52 and is multiplication and the probability of getting the second card red can be found out using the formula we know that there are 26 red cards and since the uh, first card is replaced the total number of cards remains the same which is 52 so the probability of getting the second card red is 26 by 52 or is addition the probability of getting the first card red can be found out using the formula now we know that there are 26 red cards and the total number of cards is 52 so the probability of getting the first card red is 26 by 52 and is multiplication the probability of getting the second card black can be found out using the formula now we know that the number of black cards is 26 now since the first drawn card is replaced the total number of cards remains the same which is 52 so the probability of getting the second card black is 26 by 52 or is addition the probability of getting getting both cards black is nothing but the probability of getting the first card black and the probability of getting the second card black now since 
the probability of getting the first card as black can be found out using this formula the number of black cards is 26 the total number of cards is 52 so the probability of getting the first card as black is 26 by 52 and this multiplication the probability of getting the second card also as black can be found out using the formula now since the uh, since the uh, first card which is uh, since the first black card that has been drawn is replaced the number of black cards in the deck remains the same which is 26 since the first card that has been drawn has been replaced the total number of cards also remains the same which is 52 so the probability of getting the second card also as black is 26 by 52 so now we have probability that at least one black card is drawn is equal to 26 by 52 multiplied by 26 by 52 plus 26 by 52 multiplied by 26 by 52 plus 26 by 52 multiplied by 26 by 52 on solving this we get the required probability as 3 by 4 now let's find out the probability of getting at least one black card by the second method now if we consider the total probability as one and if we uh, remove the probability that both cards are red then the probability the remaining probability will clearly contain at least one black card so the probability that at least one black card is drawn is equal to 1 minus probability that both cards are red. Now probability that both cards are red means a probability that the first card is red and the probability that the second card is red. Now the probability that the first card is red can be found out using the formula. The number of red cards in the deck is 26 total number of cards is 52 so the probability that the first card is red is 26 by 52 and is multiplication and probability that the second card is also red can be found out using the formula now since the first red card that has been drawn has been replaced uh, the total number of red cards remains the same that is 26 since the first drawn card has been replaced the total number of uh, cards remains the same which is 52 so the probability that the second card is also red is 26 by 52 so the probability that at least one black card is drawn is nothing but 1 minus 26 by 52 multiplied by 26 by 52 on solving this we get the required probability as 3 by 4 so the correct answer is option D 3 by 4 let's now solve a few problems on probability without replacement a bag contains five white balls and nine red balls three balls are drawn without replacement from the bag what is the probability that all the three balls are white here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one now it's given that the number of white balls is five number of red balls is nine so total number of balls is 14 it's given that three balls are drawn without replacement that is the balls are not replaced after each draw now the formula that has to be used here is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items now here we are asked to find the probability that all the three balls are white now the probability that all the three balls drawn are white is nothing but probability of getting the first ball as white and the probability of getting the second ball as white and the probability of getting the third ball as white now the probability of getting the first ball as white can be found out using the formula 
Now we know that the number of white balls is 5 and the total number of balls is 14. So the probability of getting the first ball white is 5 by 14 and is multiplication. The probability of getting the second ball white can be found out using the formula. Now since the first white ball that has been drawn is not replaced the number of white balls gets reduced by one so now we have the only four white balls so the number of white balls is four now since the first ball has not been replaced the total number of balls also gets reduced by one so the total number of balls now is 13 so the probability of getting the second ball white is 4 by 13 and is multiplication. The probability of getting the third ball white can be found out using the formula. Now since uh, both the uh, white balls that have been drawn in the first two draws have not are not replaced, the uh, number of uh, white balls is uh, 3. Now since the uh, two balls that have been drawn uh, in the first two draws are not replaced the total number of balls now is 12. So the probability of getting the third ball white is 3 by 12. So the probability that all the three balls drawn are white is 5 by 14 multiplied by 4 by 13 multiplied by 3 by 12. On solving this we get the required probability as 5 by 182. So the correct answer is option B 5 by 182. There are five green and seven red balls in a bag. Two balls are selected one by one without replacement. Find the probability that the first is green and the second is red. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So it's given that the number of green balls is five, number of red balls is seven. So total number of balls is 12. It's also given that two balls are drawn without replacement. That is the balls are not replaced after each draw. Now the formula that has to be used here is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items. Here we are asked to find the probability that the first ball is green and the second ball is red. So the probability that the first ball is green and the second ball is red is nothing but the probability of getting the first ball green and the probability of getting the second ball red. Now the probability of getting the first ball green can be found out using the formula. Now we know that the number of uh, green balls is uh, 5. And we know that the total number of balls is 12. So the probability of getting the first ball green is 5 by 12 and is multiplication. The probability of getting the second ball red can be found out using the formula. Now the number of red balls is 7. Now since the first uh, drawn ball is not replaced, the total number of balls gets reduced by 1. So the total number of balls now is 11. So the probability of getting the second ball red is 7 by 11. So the probability that the first ball is green and the second ball is red is 5 by 12 multiplied by 7 by 11, which is nothing but 35 by 132. So the correct answer is option D, 35 by 132. There are 12 green and 9 blue balls in a bag. Three balls are selected one by one without replacement. Find the probability that at least one ball is blue. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. 
so here it's given that the number of green balls is 12 number of blue balls is 9 so total number of balls is 21 so it's given that three balls are drawn without replacement that is the balls are not replaced after each draw now the formula that has to be used here is probability of drawing an item of a particular type is equal to total number of items of the particular type divided by total number of items now here we are asked to find the probability that at least one ball is blue now if we consider the total probability as one and if we remove the probability that all the three drawn balls are green then clearly what is left is the probability that at least um, one ball is blue out of the three drawn balls so probability that at least one ball is blue is equal to one minus probability that all the three balls are green now probability that all the three balls are green is nothing but probability that the first ball is green and probability that the second ball is green and the probability that the third ball is green now probability that the first ball is green can be found out using the formula now we know that the number of green balls is 12 and the total number of balls is 21 so the probability that the first ball is green is 12 by 21 and this multiplication now the probability that the second ball is green can be found out using the formula now since the first uh, drawn green ball is not replaced the number of green balls now reduces by one so the number of green balls now is 11 now since the first drawn ball is not replaced the total number of balls also gets reduced by one so the total number of balls now is 20 so the probability that the second ball is green is 11 by 20 and this multiplication the probability that the third ball is green can also be found out using this formula now since the uh, first two drawn green balls are not replaced the number of green balls gets reduced by two so the number of green balls now is 10 since the first two drawn balls are not replaced the total number of balls also get, gets reduced by two so the total number of balls now is 19 so the probability that the third ball is green is 10 by 19 so the probability that at least one ball is blue is equal to 1 minus 12 by 21 multiplied by 11 by 20 multiplied by 10 by 19 on solving this we get the required probability as 111 by 133 so the correct answer is option a 111 by 133 viewers please go through this video till you have understood the concept practice more such problems to increase your speed and also to understand the concept clearly please do watch our videos on mensuration if you have liked this video please like subscribe and share this video Thank you.